Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Uh, and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through some of my brand new low calorie, high protein recipes. The first recipe that I am just about to show you now is an absolute game changer, you will see. And as well as that, I'm also gonna be talking about the key things that I do uh, to maintain a lean and shredded physique year round, whilst also ensuring that I am able to make progress and also that I am not restricting myself. So, you know, if you're someone who kind of struggles to first of all achieve, but then maintain that that lean and aesthetic look, then this video is going to be very, very useful. So if you are looking forward to today's video, if you're excited for the recipes, or if you just wanna be sound, if you are someone that watches my videos uh, on a regular basis, then please take 1.5 seconds out of your day right now to scroll down and press that subscribe button. As I say in pretty much every video, it takes literally no length of time, uh, but it really, really does help the channel grow. It helps my videos reach a bigger audience. So I would really, really appreciate it if you could do that. And yeah, let's go to my first meal. So we're gonna start with something that would be perfect as like a snack between meals or uh, if you wanted, you could have it as like your final meal of the day as a little bit of a treat. That's probably what I would do. So we're gonna start by adding one banana to a bowl and then mash it well with a fork. So just like this. Then I'm gonna add 50 ml of egg whites to the banana. I'm gonna add 30 ml of this close to zero calorie maple walnut flavored syrup from Walden Farm. And there are lots of these low calorie maple syrups on the market, but this one is absolutely banging. Then I'm gonna add 15 grams of plain white flour, about three to four grams of baking powder. I'm gonna add in some ground cinnamon. I am going to mix everything together. All right, I'm actually an idiot. I forgot to add 30 grams of whey protein, and then we mix. So this is how we are looking now, nice and thick but not too thick. And just on the protein powder, you can use a protein powder of your choice, but I am using this cinnamon donut one from Perform. This is unreal. Then I'm gonna add 15 grams of chocolate chips to the top, and then I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about one minute and 15 seconds. All right, let's give this bowl of sexiness a go. Mm. See, the great thing about this is that you can kind of cook it whatever way you like. So I leave it in for about one minute and 15 seconds because then it comes out a little bit gooey, but still nice and firm. But if you wanted it, you know, a little bit more gooey, you could leave it in for less time. Or if you wanted it more firm, uh, you could obviously leave it in for more time. But I think this balance is perfect. And I still haven't really came up with a name for it yet. I don't think bowl of sexiness is gonna pass, but I'm thinking, Banana in the banana, what am I thinking? Banana bread in a bowl. Banana bread in a bowl. Protein banana bread in a bowl. Protein banana bread in a bowl? I don't know. Protein banana bread in a bowl. All right, so the first thing that I wanna talk about when it comes to how I stay lean and build muscle is my workouts. And I've followed a number of different workout splits over the years, uh, but there is always a few underlying things that I take with me. So first and foremost, I make sure to track each of my exercises in the gym, whether it is the bench press or the bicep curl. I am tracking the weight that I can lift and the reps that I can do. And in each session, I am looking back on my previous session and seeing how I can beat it. And usually I am happy with any progress whatsoever. So for example, on the bicep curl, if I do four sets of eight with a certain weight uh, in one session and in the next session, I do three sets of eight and one set of nine with that same weight, uh, I am pretty happy with that because even though it is just one rep, I know that those reps will accumulate over time uh, and it will lead to progress. And this is one of the main reasons that I spent so much time building a place for all of my clients uh, to track their workouts in their own personal account and see their progress because I just personally know how beneficial and how motivating it is to see those numbers increase over time and for you to be looking back on your previous session and think, okay, like I need to beat this no matter what. And you will find that you will be able to, you know, bring your sessions to that next level. You will be able to get out that extra rep that you never even thought you could when you know that you have a specific number to beat. And if you are putting in this effort week after week and month after month, uh, those results and that progressive overload will translate to muscle growth which is obviously a key part of improving your physique whilst remaining lean. And before we go to my next meal, I do want to let you know that I currently am taking on clients for my transformation program, which is my personal coaching service. There are still 12 weeks left. 
until the middle of June, so plenty of time. There's 40 weeks left in 2021, so of working directly with me and bringing your physique to that next level is something you are interested in. I will leave the link to the transformation program in the comment section below, and you should go check it out. But yeah, my next meal is absolutely ridiculous. I know so many people are going to want to try it as soon as uh, they see me make it, so let's get into it. Okay, so I've started by chopping five smoked bacon medallions, which is 150 grams, into little pieces, and half an onion into little pieces. Let's add them them both to a frying pan, season with some sea salt and some scream a louder baby smoked paprika. And while they are cooking away, let's spray a circular fire exit dish with some Uno calorie spray. Then I'm gonna get one of these small wraps. They have 131 calories. I'm gonna push it down into the Pyrex dish like so. You will see the outside part of the wrap. Uh, slightly comes up over the dish. This is how we are looking. Then as the base, I'm gonna use 200 grams of tomato passata. I'm gonna add some garlic, some basil, some smoked paprika. Then I'm gonna mix it all in. All right, now let's load this baby up with the bacon and the onions. This is gonna be so, so good. I'm gonna add 15 grams of jalapenos into the mix and 15 grams of sweet corn. Finally, before we put this baby in the oven, I'm going to add 25 grams of 30% less fat cheese. Smash the like button right now if you just know, like I know, that this is gonna be ridiculous. Then I'm gonna put it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius. All right, if you are sitting there all uncomfortable and sexually aroused by this deep dish pizza, I am sorry. Yeah, I've made like a few pizza wraps on this channel, but I just think the deep dish effect brings it to the next level completely. And the great thing about it is that it is so versatile. So I kind of like smoky pizzas. That's why I went with bacon medallions, I went with jalapenos, smoked paprika. But you can kind of add whatever meat and whatever veg you like to this and just make it work. So maybe just think of your favorite toppings in Domino's or wherever you get your pizzas and apply it to this baby. All right, so the next thing that I wanna talk about when it comes to remaining lean uh, is setting myself a calorie goal. And when I am setting myself this goal, uh, I kinda think about two things. So number one is that I want to progress and put on as much muscle as possible. Uh, but number two is that I don't wanna put on any excess fat or any more fat than I need to uh, in the process. So seeing as I am quite experienced in terms of training years, it is best for me to spend the vast majority of my time in a calorie surplus. And yes, you can grow muscle in a calorie deficit. Yes, you can grow muscle at maintenance. But seeing as the muscle growth process becomes a little bit harder and goes a little bit slower, the more experienced you are in terms of lifting years, I know that a calorie surplus is close to a requirement for me at this stage uh, to keep making gains at a decent rate. But as I said, remaining lean is a priority of mine because I just like how I feel and how I look when I am relatively lean. Uh, so as a result, I don't really increase my calories by much uh, and I am usually at about five to ten percent above my maintenance calories. So during the week I consume about 2,600 calories per day and on the weekends I enjoy eating a little bit more uh, and I average about 2,800 calories per day and then at the end of the week uh, that usually leaves me in a calorie surplus of about five to ten percent above maintenance. And seeing as I'm consistently in a calorie surplus uh, my scale weight does increase ever so slightly on a monthly basis but seeing as some of that weight gain uh, is muscle gain the fat that I gain is pretty much non-visible uh, until I've been gaining for a really, really long period of time. And then when I reach that stage, I just cut down. And this is a balance that I really enjoy because I get to eat a decent amount of calories uh, most of the time and I genuinely hate cutting. So um, I want to do that as little as possible. And with this approach, that is the case. Uh, and I think over the last like 18 months or so, I've probably spent only six weeks in a calorie deficit. Okay, so third and final meal of the video going in. This is honestly so good if you are just in the mood for something, something juicy for lunch or for dinner. Uh, honestly, it is so good. It feels like such a treat, but somehow it is so low in calories, such a calorie bargain, uh, and it is so high in protein as well. All right, so I'm gonna start by adding half an onion and half a red pepper to a pan. That is gonna be followed by 150 grams of lean turkey mint. Then I'm gonna add some sea salt, some paprika, 
smoked, and some garlic. Give it a little shake. Then when everything is pretty much cooked and ready to go, I'm gonna add some sauces. So I'm gonna start with 30 grams of no added sugar and salt ketchup, 15 grams of French's yellow mustard, 10 ml of Worcestershire sauce, and I'm also going to add one heaped teaspoon of low calorie sweetener. Now let's mix it all around. Add 15 grams of jalapenos into the mix, and then let it cook away for the final few minutes on a low heat. And as they are cooking away, I'm gonna toast two of these 98 calorie Slim Bowls in the toaster. All right, so I believe the correct terminology for these are sloppy joes, kinda. If there is anyone called Joe watching this, you're a sloppy guy, comment down below and say hello. But yeah, this is honestly such a treat and the fact that it contains 445 calories and 52 grams of protein is an absolute calorie and macro bargain in my opinion. Like you wouldn't look at that and think low calorie and high protein, but that's the beauty of my channel. And I think there are a couple of different ways you can go about eating these. So if you wanted a big juicy sandwich, then something you could do is just load like half of the fins up and fold the other half onto them. Uh, but if you wanted to kind of ration it out and for it to last as long as possible, then I recommend doing it this way. This is the way I would do it, especially if I was on lower calories, because it will just take you that little bit longer to eat and it will feel like you have more, even though you know you have the exact same amount of food. And those little psychological mind games can really go a long way in helping you remain you know, on track with your diet. And another example of this is when you're eating like something with a spoon, like porridge, for example. Of course, I'm gonna bring back to porridge. Um, but I eat porridge with a teaspoon as opposed to a tablespoon just because it takes me that bit longer with a teaspoon you need more spoonfuls and hence it just feels like you have more so yeah comment down below what kind of person are you are you someone that would eat it like this or are you someone that would just say screw it I want it as a sandwich okay so the last thing that I want to talk about is the two-day rule and this is like a rule that I have lived by for years and years without even knowing and then I saw somebody talking about it I think it was Matt Devella on YouTube he was talking about it in one of his videos and I was like oh that's what I do I implemented the two-day rule it's very simple. I would not allow myself to take off more than one day in a row. But the two day rule is basically that if I go off track one day, uh, I will always get back on track the next day, no matter what. So I never really take two days off in a row. The only exception is probably when I'm on holidays. So for example, if I completely mess up one evening, if I consume way too many calories, if I drink way too much alcohol and get absolutely locked, uh, I have it programmed into my brain that I will be back on track the following day. And I'm not using it as an excuse to take the whole weekend off and start fresh on Monday or anything along those lines. And this mindset is probably one of the main reasons I've built a decent physique over the years because it has just helped me become, you know, so consistent, especially with my diet. And if you can combine consistency with a decent training plan and a decent nutrition plan, that is gonna get you much better results than trying to follow the perfect training plan and the perfect nutrition plan, but it being so unsustainable for you that you can only follow it for maybe a few weeks at a time before going way off track, before getting back on track and just being in that constant cycle and not making much progress in the process. I am sure a lot of people can relate to that. So the next time you go way overboard in terms of calories and you are tempted to you know, do it again the following day or the next time you are absolutely hanging from the night before and you are tempted to have a takeaway the following day but it doesn't really fit your calories at all, just remember the two day rule and you will feel so much better for it. All right, everyone, I'm gonna wrap the video up there, but before I do, I want you to meet the newest member of our family, Bruno. Bruno, say hello. <laughs> but yeah, we got this little man a few days ago. He's 10 weeks old. Uh, he has a big appetite, just like his dad, and he shits everywhere, just like his dad. Isn't that right, Bruno? Mm -hmm. Do you want to get down now? You don't care about YouTube, do you? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. I bring out videos like this on a weekly basis. And yeah, I really appreciate all of the support that I am getting lately. YouTube is going really well at the moment, so if you watch my videos pretty much on a weekly basis, uh, if you are liking them, if you are commenting below as well, uh, thank you so much. But yeah, Bruno is getting a little bit restless here. I think he wants to go play, isn't that right? Uh, so I will see you next week.